Hey, what's going on, YouTube? What's up, fellas? So, this is the last day of the year. So, um, I'm, I'm gonna end the year with uh, a video that is somewhat spiritual. And the title is, You Do Not Truly Own Anything. Right? Everything is temporary. Your time on this earth is temporary. Um, a lot of people spend their lives chasing and trying to acquire material possessions. And some of you may have succeeded in, acqui in acquiring those uh, material possessions that you've always wanted. Uh, but some of you may soon realize that after getting it, after buying what you wanted, uh, it doesn't really bring you true happiness, All right? And if you ask me, can you buy happiness with money? My dumb answer would be no. You cannot buy happiness with money. Because happiness is not a product that is put on a shelf. Right? You can't walk into Walmart and like go, uh, Hey man, I'm down bad, bro. I'm looking for a box of happiness. And let me get a can of gratitude to go with it. <laughs> right? I, I don't think they have that shit in Costco. <laughs> But what you can do, what money can do for you is buy the experiences that could bring you happiness. So to put it correctly, you cannot buy happiness with money because happiness is not a product. But happiness is a byproduct of a life well lived. All right? So instead of chasing after material possession, just, you know, just for the sake of owning it, um, think about what that stuff can do for you. Does it bring you joy and happiness? If you're not really doing anything with the thing that you bought, then um, all it's going to do is it's just going to be a clutter. It's just going to be taking up your mental and physical space. All right. Now, there's nothing wrong with getting yourself something nice. There's nothing wrong with rewarding yourself from time to time. Um, but don't buy stuff thinking that uh, by collecting a whole lot of objects, <laughs> it's going to bring you true happiness. Um, what you should do is aim to buy new experiences with your money. right? Because at the end of the day, you can't take anything with you. Nothing truly belongs to you. Not even your own body. Understand? Because one day your body will perish and it will return back to earth. Now, I'm not saying that you should neglect taking care of your body, right? Because uh, when you're alive, you still need to be fairly fit and healthy to have a good life. But what, what I'm trying to say is when you're dead, when your time is up, all that you can take with you is your merit or the good things the good deeds that you did when you were still alive all right and before i end this video um i want to say thank you to all the brothers and sisters that's been supportive and uplifting and also the brothers that are fighting feminism um, keep doing keep doing your thing man you're doing god's work all right you're on your divine mission you best believe that <laughs> all right god bless you and i'll see you all next year